What, what goes on in the locker room on a lengthy delay like that? Uh, initially treated it knowing we had at least a half an hour where we just kind of sat around and let the guys relax. And then we found out when we got the get-go to come out, we treated it like a normal halftime. But he, here's where I think we had the advantage. We had our guys put their uniforms in the dryer. We gave them new socks. We put them in a towel and a hooded sweatshirt and had them go watch TV and gave them a snack. And UC sat in a small visitor's locker room, and I talked about that before we came out, saying I think we have an advantage being at home here. And then you score in a minute and a half into the half, and, and that ended up uh, standing up. So I think I think we did a good job as a staff managing the, the break as best we could. Right after the break, UC had a, a scoring chance that was stopped, and then it was literally right down the other field, and it, and it happened. There was that moment after you scored – the intensity level seemed to just pick up almost threefold. What what was the reasoning behind that? Maybe. No, uh, unfortunately, we had the Northwestern nine second goal. We had the Wright State seventh minute goal tonight. We had a uh, minute 55 after we scored, allowing a goal. We're learning some lessons. They're tough lessons. Uh, it's a reason you can't see the front of my hair anymore. Um, but I think the guys knew that when we scored that second goal tonight, that. You know, we can't assume anything anymore, and hopefully this is it for us allowing goals, period, but also for having these uh, lapses after we score and allowing goals shortly after we, you know, finally gain momentum. It's been since 2004 that you guys have been able to beat UC. What does that mean? I, I just think it's a good milestone. Uh, you know, a lot of people in the community think we have this rivalry and we go after each other and re recruit the same guys. I, I think they're two totally different programs. I think there's a mutual respect. There's a good relationship. I don't think it's as, uh, you know, heated uh, as people might think. But in a city like this, you do play with the guys over the summer. You see them around, and it is always good to have that, uh, you know, little one-up on them for a year or so. And I said our seniors, this is their last chance at it, Luke Spencer being a Cincinnati guy in particular. So we came here to set, make history, set milestones. And if you really look at what we've done, we've done several things, but one of them we had yet to do was get a victory against them. And there was a lot of alumni and former players uh, chiming in during the week. Uh, a lot of people kept an eye on this game tonight, and I'm glad we were able to put a smile on their face.